Part 3. In time, Horizon Line presented, gifted, stone wall rising, 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 upward from ocean, towering into sky, infinitely rising, infinitely expanding in all directions, rise, with no end, where morning sun had been for so long, arrested, a door, entrance, enormous open portal appeared. Where once had been sunlight, portal possessed within itself, an expansive, seductive void. At the side of this graphite tree, turned into tree of light, illuminating the twine, the stone, the twilight, the void. Exhaling wind, ceased to sing, inhaling back into herself. Both wind and tree, finally at rest, finally. Gazing into the void, undeniable and irresistible curiosity, force emanating outward, witnessing four female entities emerge from portal, encircling thrice, positioned in four directions, wearing fitted warrior attire, charged with beauty, wisdom, insight, experience, knowledge, magnetism, wonder, allure, undeniable intensity of presence, intensely undeniable. I became nervous, anxious, frightened. Unprecedented first contact while projecting, trying to stay calm, collected, receptive, to complete disbelief collectively as one entity speaking in unison Four women with one voice uttered twice. He is too nervous now. We cannot tell him. He is too nervous now. We cannot tell him. Regretfully felt myself losing lucidity, fading, slipping, sinking. What were they going to tell me as tree turned from light to a heavy, dense silver, quickly sinking into twine like a ship at sea, sinking? Had I really traveled to the edge, trying to reach back to surface? sinking what was through the opening branch-like fingers reaching inward outward upward trying desperately desperately trying to get back to the portal to the proverbial entities filled with mystery and wonder wonderfully mysterious but alas sinking deeper deeper sinking faster than light itself into the ship the dinghy, the tree. The gilded dream hit the ocean bottom abruptly, sat up in bed gasping for air, transformed, transfixed, covered in sweat, wide-eyed, full of excitement and frustration, of pain and wonder, with a blind sight like never before, trying to fall back asleep, while not falling asleep, trying to get back to the portal, always trying, night after night, season after season, year after year to get back, back to the elusive portal. To the wind in the tree, to the gold in the twine, to the silver in the string, transformed, transfixed. Dawn had come and gone. The morning light within shall rise. The breeze within shall whisper secrets. The new dawn within shall dawn. The silence within shall be silenced. (sighs) 
silently with within without. <laughs>